You're listening to The John Mendola Show, driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Center. Let's get back to John with local sports talk on WILK. Welcome back to the John Mendola Show here in WILK. 1014 in the morning. Well, we've got a lot of high school football to talk about, some college football this morning here on the show. Again, join us online every day, thejohnmendolashow.com. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Get to see all those interviews every single day. We give you interviews, and uh, we're talking right now with the Western Wayne Lady Wildcats volleyball team. Get back over to Coach uh, Darren Thorpe. And Coach, uh, we have a couple more young ladies to talk about. Of course, you, you brought a whole van full, which is awesome to see the ladies have a little breakfast fun uh, this morning. But uh, Rebecca Klemovich is with us this morning. Uh, tell us a little bit about Rebecca. Um, Rebecca is, uh, she has recently set our school record in kills and set our school record in blocks. Um, when she came on as a freshman, she became a starter her freshman year and told me then that she wanted to be one of the best the school ever had, and she's worked very hard to get there. Well, it's great to hear that uh, she's developed over the years, and now here it is, a senior year. I'm sure it'll be sad for her to go. Uh, but uh, we welcome in Rebecca Klemovich here on the John Mandola Show. Uh, Rebecca, let's go back to those early years when you first started and, and uh, getting those goals set. And now here you are as a senior, and, and you're doing great, this, great stuff. Yeah, um, when I actually first came into the sport, I didn't really want to play until I came to the first practice, and I realized, wow, I love this so much. Um, and ever since then, I really just worked hard for it. So, Let's talk about Coach, uh, his style, uh, what he tries to get out of everybody. Obviously, a lot of success feels really good, and, and this Western Wayne team has seen that. Yeah, for sure. Um, he's a very good coach. He pushes us. He motivates us. He He's just really good with working with a group of high school girls, and it works out really well. Blocks and kills, uh, something that you're good at. Let's talk about your ups and just the ability to jump and, you know, sense things and get in the right position. Yeah, um, well, I did a off-season uh, clinic, and I really worked on that with my hitting, my blocking, where I should be, and the timing, so that just worked out right. For you, uh, let's talk about the future. 2020, uh, what's coming up for you? What, do you? what are some things that you're thinking about? Um, I'm planning on going to a four-year university. I'm not quite sure what I want to major in yet, but I know I definitely want to continue playing volleyball. And uh, any other activities that you're doing there at Western Wayne? Um, Sports-wise, no. Volleyball is my main focus, but otherwise I'm really into art as well as Sabrina. <laughs> All right, that's cool. A couple of artists, we love that. Uh, how about the, the family support? Who's uh, rooting you on? Uh, my parents, my grandparents, and my brother. My brother is hard for him to make the games because he's in college and he's working. But I know my parents come to like every single game, whether it's far, it's close. Big supporters. How about the bond there at Westerway? Not everybody lives right next to each other. It's pretty spread out uh, community overall with a different town. So talk a little bit about uh, being able to, to stay tight with each other and, and root for each other and, and wish the best that everybody, hey, if the, go to college, go to a trade school, go in the military, whatever you're going to do that you hope that everybody has success. Yeah, we've been really close since we all started playing together. And really this year, the bond has been super strong, and I hope it continues to stay that way. The keys on this team, obviously you're getting kills, but who's setting you up? Who are, who are some of those key players that uh, you couldn't do it without? Really all of them. They they all play a big role in the sport, but definitely Kaylee. Kaylee is a good setter, let me tell you. All right. All right, Rebecca. Well, thanks for your time today. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Rebecca Klemovich here on the John Mandola Show. Uh, let's get back over to Coach uh, Darren Thorpe. Uh, Coach, this next uh, young lady is unbelievable, out of this world on the track, but uh, how's she as a volleyball player? Uh, well, Trina didn't start playing volleyball until her sophomore year, um, but she's really picked up the sport very quickly. And, and a lot of that, I mean, you mentioned is just her athleticism. Um, because of her athleticism, she's able to adapt really probably to just about any sport. So she's picked up volleyball very quickly. All right. Uh, let's welcome in Trina Barcarola here on the Job and Dola Show. Uh, Trina, great to see you again. Um, let's talk about your summer. I'm sure... After states, you probably still were doing some national stuff or something. Who knows? But uh, how much uh, your focus was track and how much was it relax and how much did you kind of gear into volleyball? Hi, John. Thanks for having me. Um, so this past summer, um, I did a lot of traveling. So um, sports wise, I was uh, I got into volleyball later in the summer. Um, I still was pole vaulting throughout the month of July. But really, once volleyball season preseason rolls around, I'm totally focused on that. 
And uh, you're you're very good at a lot of different things, but man, pole vaulting and then the hurdles—it's just unbelievable stuff. Uh, let's talk about you know culminating here. You got one more season to go here. It's your senior year. Are you going to do some indoor stuff in that area? Yeah. So this uh, this coming November, we're going to start pole vaulting Monday, Wednesdays and Sundays. Um, but until then, you know, my focus is on volleyball and the collaboration with my team um, as we go into this postseason. Um, I think you've got a short list of schools. It might be four. Very, very curious as to hear about who those four schools are and, and uh, where that next step is going to be for you in 2020. Whoever it is, going to be pretty lucky. Yeah, yeah. So this, this next upcoming month, um, it's a big month for me, but um, I'm planning to take my four officials, um, Northeastern University, University of Virginia, um, George Mason, and, uh, you know, one, one other one, but <laughs> I still, I still got to work things out with them. So All right, I like the mystery one because that, that <laughs> makes it even a little bit more suspenseful. Um, as far as your family, I know uh, you're tight. Um, you talked a little bit about you and your brother last year, real tight. Talk about the, that, that family support system you have. Yeah, it's really, it's really amazing. My brother is just such an incredible um, example for me. He is always supporting me on the track and off the track. It was um, really special last year that we got that newspaper interview together um it's just it's just an amazing opportunity just to be um, doing a sport with a sibling so volleyball how about this family that you have and and the bond that you have with these ladies the, the bond we have is just incredible. Um, I've never really been a part of a team sport before this. So coming into volleyball, it was really special um, just to be able to experience the collaboration that you have to have when working with a team. And these girls are so wonderful and they've made my experience absolutely amazing. Obviously, I know you had a pretty tight bond with uh, Coach Collins over in the track and field. Great dude. How about Coach Thorpe? Uh, talk about him trying to bring out the best in you. Coach Thorpe is awesome. Um, he is an amazing um, um, example for us just as a person he's always trying to make us not only better um, volleyball players but better people overall um, he's just was always pushing us um, to be the best so I really really love that about him and it's going to be really sad when I leave so well we're going to try to soak up this year as much as you are going to try to soak up this year keep up the fantastic work thank you so much John all right Trina Barcarola one special student athlete here in northeastern Pennsylvania no doubt coach Thorpe we thank you for bringing the ladies in what a great group you have keep up the great work playoffs upon us 22 and 2 overall 17-0 in the league uh, we wish you the best next week okay uh, thank you we really appreciate it all right Darren Thorpe and the Western Wayne Lady Wildcats volleyball team here on the John Mandola show 10-22 Wilkes University football, Dallas Mountaineer football, and Western Wayne football. We're going to talk about that here this morning on the John Mandola Show. Let's take a time out. Let's head out now to our local State Farm insurance agent, Jen Ricky. Break like a good neighbor. Jen Ricky and Dunmore is there. We'll be back on WILK.